everybody, and welcome to session two of our microeconomics class. Um, today we're going to talk more about um, this idea of markets and what institutions are. Um, and then we'll do a little bit more of some microeconomic analysis, but it won't be too mathy, so don't worry again. Um, we're not going to be doing any supply-demand stuff, no calculus or anything. Um, in the example for today, we will draw some graphs to show um, some examples of comparative advantage and absolute advantage, um, useful tools that you should know about for um, your problem sets and for your exams. And it, it teaches you about um, why trade is important and why there's benefits to trading. Um, but that's the mathiest thing we're going to talk about today. The rest is all kind of conceptual and um, uh, continuing to talk about why government gets involved in markets and the dangers of government getting involved in markets. Um, so if you go ahead and go to the slides for today, you'll see um, what we're going to talk about. Um, we're going to cover a few um, topics. It looks like a long list, but these should all be relatively shorter sections. Um, first, we'll start talking about markets and institutions. Um, we talked about this last time with this idea of capitalist institutions and the idea of having private property and markets and um, firms. Um, but today we're going to focus mostly on the middle of those three, of markets and how market institutions work. Um, then we'll talk about this idea of how markets and trading and prices all help determine how well markets work and how efficient they are and how inefficient they are potentially. Um, so we'll talk about that. Then we'll talk about the role of governments in the economy and um, what they're supposed to do, especially when you're getting involved directly into markets. Um, we're going to try to be more specific when we say the economy. Um, as we learned last time, the economy is kind of this invented idea of just kind of the world as it interacts with itself and, and with people throughout the world as they go about their, their daily lives. Um, so it's a really nebulous term. And so when we talk about governments in the economy, um, today we're gonna be talking about governments and markets and how governments are, are involved in markets specifically. Um, then we'll talk about this idea of democracy and small groups in democracy and how this might distort um, what happens with markets and how governments intervene in markets. Um, and there are some risks there, um, especially when you start getting into small groups, um, because small groups behave differently than large groups. Um, and based on your reading of um, the Federalist Papers that you had for today, um, we're going to talk about what James Madison said hundreds of years ago about the dynamics of small groups and how democracy should, in theory, get rid of those, those risks. But it, it doesn't quite. Um, and then we'll talk about government failure and some specific ways that governments can um, not succeed in intervening in a market and how they, they can actually fail completely because of a lack of accountability and other reasons. So we'll give some specific terms for defining what government failure means. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. So let's go ahead and get started. <music> 